this is so wrong please stop treating our sisters like this if you have no need to take them or if you know that you're not going to buy food for them or treat them well leave them back at home period someone is working for you from morning to night she wakes up before you wake up when you wake up your house is clean your breakfast is ready your lunch is ready your clothes are ironed then you will also end up sleeping even before she sleeps and she woke up before you these people takes care of your family these people takes care of your entire house hey guys what's up and you're much welcome to our youtube channel thank you so much for stopping by and thank you for clicking this video my good name is Polly j if you're new here you're much welcome and if you are again gang i welcome you all back and i love you all so much guys in our today's video i just came across this video and i just want to share it with you and also to talk to our bosses our arab bosses so i don't know what comes in your mind or what gives you that satisfaction when you know that you're going out maybe to the mall maybe to do shopping or anywhere where you want to go and you know you have a housemaid you just tell her like we are going out and then you go to treat her that way you guys you're angry but you just feel like it's not good for her to eat with you guys you just keep her aside you and your family you sit down and peacefully you eat without thinking about her this is so sad it's so bad and i don't know how you can eat and swallow that food and you don't even think you don't even feel anything like i just felt so bad because for two years she's under your care she's in your house and the moment you received her as your housemaid the moment you received her in your home she became a part of you so why will you treat someone's child like that okay will you be happy to see your child be treated the same way of course not so why why every day you pray every day you read your quran every day you read your bible every day you talk about god and you pray what do you pray about and you think that god is happy with you behaving like that no he, he cannot be happy with you and in fact you cannot be blessed with that kind of heart you can never be blessed so it touched me and i just felt like this is is not right there are people who are still doing this to our fellow housemates there are people who are still doing this to our fellow kenyans or maybe fellow africans or maybe it doesn't matter where you come from but if you know like you don't have money or if you have money and you don't want to buy anything for your housemaid why take her with you you're just taking her to go check on your kids to go take your luggages after you do the shopping but you never think about them you don't even put them into consideration like just feel like they're human the same way i am angry she's also angry the same way i want to eat or drink water she feels the same what makes you think like we are different we're not different we have the same blood which is running in our veins like there's no difference between me and you the only difference that is there is because you are my boss you have the money I don't have and it is our two-way traffic i am here to work for you for you to pay me and also for you to take care of me for the two years if you knew that you cannot take care of me then don't take me just stay like that if you know you cannot buy anything for your housemaid instead of disgracing yourself and allowing other people in public take videos of you then don't take them with you you can't buy food for them you can't buy water for them anytime you're doing something it's just you and your family and you just keep her alone what do you think is going through her mind at that moment she has no money she has nothing you look at her she looks hopeless she looks homeless and she lives under your roof when you're going out do you look at yourself look at your housemaid what do you feel are you proud of how she looks like are you proud of you working with her and what do you think people will say? What people will think about you? What will God think about you? These are the things that we should always think. And this is a specific message to our bosses. If you happen to watch this video, please, if you're the kind of this person that we are watching here, because they are not just this. Like, it's not just them. But so many people are going through the same thing. You take your kids and your housemaid to the park. The whole day, your kids eat, your kids, they will drink, your kids will do anything. But you don't even think about your housemaid. 
if you care nothing about them if you don't want them to dine with you at the same table if you don't want them to dine with you at the same cafeteria at the same restaurant then make sure that you give them at least 10 or 20 or maybe 30 dirham then they will go pick something for themselves eat after you finish at least should be okay but don't be this at least like someone is working for you from morning to night she wakes up before you wake up when you wake up your house is clean your breakfast is ready your lunch is ready your clothes are ironed then you will also end up sleeping even before she sleeps and she woke up before you these people takes care of your family these people takes care of your entire house you feel at ease because you have someone who is responsible who is taking care of you but ask yourself how often do you think about them what do you do to appreciate them what do you do when you go out there are you the same type like you just want to sit on the table with your children with your wife with every one of your family and then you keep her aside you celebrate eating but she's not eating it's not fair not fair at all at all like i don't even find like how do you get that strength how, how do you feel doing this to a fellow human despite that she's your employer employee i mean like what makes you feel like you're so comfortable and what gives you that strength to do that and to don't feel anything at all this is so wrong it is so wrong maybe nobody came across or maybe never nobody told you because you know it hurts so much just that to see other people who are so concerned with this person like people can see how bad you're treating her so if this is how you are in public then how do you treat her when you're in the house it tells a lot so please take care of them take care of us we take care of you with one heart we take care of your kids with one heart and remember i don't know if you have been in our shoes before or not but if you ever stay or maybe try to fit our shoes you can never fit them you can never two years without seeing your family two years without seeing your children without seeing anyone you're spending your time your everything trying to please other people who can never appreciate you it's so bad after only two years is when we will go back home. So that means I cannot fly every day from here to Kenya to go and eat and come back. That means I cannot go shower in Kenya and come back. That means I cannot go take my clothes back in Kenya and come back. So when you are signing a contract of two years, you're taking in someone, then take full responsibility of this person. Even that way you open doors for God to bless you. I hope this touches someone. If you happen to watch this also, you can forward it. Share with people, let it reach out there and let our employers know that, like what they do is really bad. And for those who are good, congratulations because we have good bosses. Like it's not just any other boss, like not every boss is bad. We have good bosses and we thank God for them. But for the bad ones, it is not too late for you to change and you can change if you want to. Tr start treating them right. Start seeing them as part of you. Start seeing them at, at least appreciate them. At least if you're eating, just have that heart of sharing with them. Please. This is not too much for me to ask. Because so many people are quiet. So many are so silent. But people are dying inside. Yeah. Just put it in your mind. And think of it as if, if it was your kid. If it was your daughter. Maybe she traveled someone for work. And who maybe hosted her. Or maybe something of that sort is treating her like that. Will you be happy? How will you feel to see your child going through the same thing? You are a parent. And if you are happy, karma will always catch you. I think I'm done with this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.